how you got into Scientology as a young young person. Uh, did you walk into a Scientology center? How did that How did that work for you? Yeah, I, I basically walked into a Scientology center at the very beginning. I was actually seeking some help and answers on how I might help my brother, who was currently locked up at Damage State Mental Hospital in Oregon. And uh, he was heavily sedated, and I had spoke with the psychiatrist there, and they really weren't talking about any type of cure. They were talking about keeping him under control. And I was kind of afraid he was going to wind up uh, living the rest of his life in the back ward. Um, so I was actually seeking some tools and some answers on how I might be able to be of assistance to him and um, struck up a conversation with, with a, a street disseminator, a person who goes out on the street to talk about Scientology to people and discussed you know, what I was trying to resolve and I had decided that maybe their basic communication course might help me um, be able to confront that situation better and be more effective at it. And this, the idea in Scientology that uh, the, the Scientology being against psychotropic drugs was that, and in psychiatry in general, that was resonating with you as well. I had no idea about them being against psychiatric drugs or anything like that. I, I mean, I literally went there and learned for myself what was going on. My brother was, my brother was, uh, uh, you know, very close and dear to me, and um, he had, you know, some. Some schizophrenic problems where he'd you know rapidly roller coaster and you know as a person and he'd have trouble with alcohol and he'd wind up um, getting in a lot of barroom brawls and not being subdued by the cops he'd wind up in the in the uh, mental ward. But um, what I found when I when I when I went to go see him was that uh, he was literally on at the time the Stelazine and the Thorazine, which are the real heavy duty psychiatric drugs, which they even refer internally as the chemical straight jackets, and he was literally in a catatonic state. I mean, this was my own observation. I knew nothing about what Scientology thought about mental health or anything. Literally, step one was to try to increase my own ability to confront another person and to be able to communicate better, because it was very difficult for me to communicate with him and with the administrators and everything else in that state. I then picked up Dianetics, and uh, even in Dianetics, there's not this vehement um, rejection of psychiatry and psychology. Hubbard initially was saying the only reason that they don't do any good is because they don't have the technology or the methodology or the answers um, to do anything with anybody. So that was my, my initial contact with it. 